Hello Video Bolt authors, let's talk about text placeholders and Video Bolt text author tools. Before making text, you should know that in After Effects, there are two types of texts. Point text and paragraph text. Our tools inside author tools are made for point texts. When you double click a text tool, you will create point text. You can also create it with selecting a text tool and then click inside the composition. Converting paragraph text to point text. When you have selected the text tool and then click and drag inside the composition, you will create paragraph text. Paragraph text has a box around text that moves words to new lines and that limits more text lines visibility which is useless. You can convert paragraph text to point text by selecting text layer and then right mouse click on layer inside composition by selecting option to convert to point text. Now your text is free. VB text fit and align. Let's make point text and apply VB text fit and align. Choose where you want to place the text anchor point and click apply. You can change anchor point at any time from the effect controls panel, more about anchor align later. Test width and height. To see the tool in action, type more characters to test maximum text width. For testing maximum allowed height, type more lines of text by pressing enter. You will see that text never goes outside of the composition, which is what we want. Automatic size limits. Now type a few lines of text. You can position text wherever you want in the composition. You will notice that the text will scale down if it touches some edge of the composition. That's because we have turned on automatic size limits inside VB text fit and align. Let's say that we want to limit more text width and height so it doesn't touch some graphic elements. You can either pre-comp text in a smaller composition, which we will discuss later. Or turn off automatic size limits and set desired maximum values. Values for maximum text width and height are simply percentage of composition width and height our text is in. Visualize box. Let's visualize an imaginary box where text has its maximum width and height limits. By making solid, we can now set scale of it, exactly like on our text and when we try to type more of the text, it will never go outside of that box. Always test width and height by typing text to check are there any mistakes. Text paragraph. Very important aspect of texts, which is controlled inside After Effects, is text paragraph. You can set it to left, center or right. It gives you control of how your lines of text are aligned. Text layer scale versus font size. Text layer scale must be set to 100% because we are placing expression on layer scale, so that text can fit. You can change font size from the character panel. Text leading. Text leading is space between lines of text and if you set it too small or too big, VideoBolt Templator will warn you about the problem. Make sure to leave it to auto or adjust it properly. Anchor align. Now, let's talk about where text will go when you keep typing more words and lines of text. Remember the first important option from VB text fit and align. That's right. It's anchor align. By default, a line is set to the middle center, and when we type more text it will go from the center to the edges. But what if we want to position text to the bottom left? We should set a line to bottom left. By doing that, text will go to the right side of the composition and top side. Let's type something. Do you think this text paragraph should be left, center or right? It's really a design choice, but usually it should be to the left. But wait. I need this text to be in the top right corner. Just change a line to top right and set the right paragraph. Text box. Now I want to add text box from author tools on our main text. You can set margins for each side and play with it inside the shape layer. You can set the roundness of the rectangle, add stroke and delete fill if you want. Output points and effects. Inside the text box effect, there are useful output points so you can stick some graphic elements to corners of the text box or really anything else. If you want to distort the text box with some effects, you can add the effect CC composite and then apply for example roughen edges effect. Subtitle with sticky text. 
Let's add subtitle to our title. We want to add sticky text from author tools on our subtitle text. We should set the parent text to our sticky text so it knows what text to follow. You can choose where to stick subtitle on your title. Right now it's set to bottom center, but it can be wherever you need. You can set a margin for the X and Y axis to create space between texts. Manual size limits for title with subtitle. You will notice that sticky text doesn't have automatic size limits, so you must set it manually. We plan to do some serious align tool for centering multiple texts, but for now, let's learn how to do this simple stuff. When you test the main title, it will work but that's not the case with sticky text. You must turn off automatic size limits for title text and adjust it manually. Be careful to leave space for sticky text. Now we should set maximum width and height for sticky text. That's it. Marker for animations. You may have noticed a marker added on the text layer named text size at this time. This is also control for the frame in time of where After Effects will calculate text size. You may wonder why is this necessary? Let's animate the text tracking amount. I will set the first keyframe to 0 and last to 500. Now type a long sentence and move the marker in time. If you place a marker on a frame with value 0, text will go to full max width, but look what happens when we play animation, tracking is forcing text out of composition. That means that we need to place marker in time when text is the biggest. Now our text is safe from whatever length the user type. Soft rejections and problems. For the end, let's see what are top reasons for soft rejections and mistakes in creating text placeholders. Tagline. Let's talk about taglines on logo intros. Tagline should be aligned at the top center and have centered paragraph. Also, your tagline should support multiple lines of text and have a great width. This is important because characters can scale down a lot and become unreadable. Don't limit them to a small rectangle, some companies have bigger slogans or might want to type a larger message at the end. Texts in compositions. Some authors really like to place text inside a small composition. First of all, text a lot of times doesn't have proper paragraphs because authors duplicate compositions and move it to the corners. If text has automatic size limits, then text will not drop outside composition. But, if a user types long text, it can scale down too much and it will not be readable. If text is manually adjusted, most of the time authors forget to align it properly, so when the text has maximum width or height, composition cuts text in render composition. This can be solved by turning on collapse transformations for text composition, but if the layer is 3D, then you can't use collapse transformations and you should make text composition bigger and set a lower maximum width and height. So to make everything easier, it's best that text composition have the same width and height of render composition and then set proper align, paragraph and position. Testing text. To finish text, test how it looks inside render composition with maximum width and height. If you hate to test it manually, use a video bolt templator for testing. Go to render comp, click on text layer inside timeline panel or text composition inside project panel and click test inside templator. You will see if the text has any problems. Hope that you find this information useful and that you are ready to make responsive text today. Much love from the Videobolt team.